The Kwanda River Basin is an expansive watershed in South Central Africa, stretching across four countries and containing a variety of habitats critical to both human populations as well as regional wildlife. Covering parts of Angola, Botswana, Namibia and Zambia, two and a half million people live within the boundaries of the basin and rely on its network of rivers and streams for drinking water, agriculture, fishing and economic development. The Kwanda River Basin's rich biodiversity is unique as it is home to half of Africa's savanna elephant population, as well as a host of other large charismatic mammal species. The Kwando River Basin is valued so much for both its cultural significance and tourism revenues that much of the land within the basin itself is protected. Despite its regional importance, the Kwando River Basin currently faces the same threats seen in many watersheds around the world, including drought, unsustainable development, impacts from climate change, and years of political instability that preclude effective management. In response to these threats, a team of regional government agencies, NGOs, and international organizations came together to develop the first Kwando River Basin Health Report Card the latest publication within the larger water partnership for a resilient Kwando Basin. So the partnership for a resilient uh, Kwando Basin is a USAID funded project that uh, started in 2017. Its area of focus was looking at um, community water stewardship, uh, but also it's a project uh, that also wanted to establish the health of the Kwando Basin and hence that's the project that uh, supported the development of the Basin Health Report Card for the Kwando. Even though the partnership could not gain sufficient data for all indicators, the data that they did collect was more than enough to offer key insights into the health of the basin as well as recommendations for future management. From the Basin Health Report Cut, the Kwando Basin um, scored a C minus, or it was graded a C minus from the assessment that was done. And uh, this actually is interpreted that the socioeconomic activities going on in the basin have moderately affected the ecological health of the basin. The key messages from this um, Kwando River Basin Health Report Cut is that action needs to be taken and it needs to be taken now and it has to be joint action so this calls then for the four member states to adopt a harmonized data collection approach and we can't also rule out the need to have a joint working group established by all the four members that share the quando so that they agree on actions that needs to be taken to maintain the status quo key recommendations arising from the insights generated from the scorecard is that um, collaboration, coordination and understanding should continue amongst the partner states. These three elements are key for good environmental governance. Secondly, we are delighted that uh, the procuring of uh, services for the strategic environmental assessment for the Kwandu is quite advanced. Now what this means is that at the end of the day when the strategic environmental assessment is conducted, we will have a good idea of uh, the kind of activities and policy and program interventions that could be supported or that should be avoided in order to ensure the continued pristine nature of uh, the Kwando River Basin. With the publication of this first report card, the Partnership for a Resilient Kwando Basin hopes that this is just the first of many collaborative initiatives that improves the health of the river basin and empowers citizens across the four nations to participate in environmental management. <laughs>